you get in my house? Through the back. <laughs> Damn, son. Oh my gosh. Let me guess. Miss Johnson? Bro, listen to me. She's coming over tonight. And we gon' mm. What? You know? We gon' mm. Oh. Oh mm. my gosh. Just keep it down. I'm gonna be studying upstairs. Oh. Alright, alright. So, what up, superhero? So, I decided uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do my first ever full day of eating video. Kind of show you uh, what I eat and how, how I get down. A couple things I'm not a cook, I do not like cooking at all. So, a lot of my food is outside the house, or I get little things that I can bring in and cook, or that's real, real easy to make. So, if you're a person like me who don't like cooking a lot, this video and this channel is something that you can start paying attention to because I'll give you some tips and see how I do things. One of the big things I do is I'm, I love intermittent fasting, so a lot of my diet is around that. I believe in getting your proteins pretty high, keeping your carbs low, and if you're lacking energy, a person that needs a lot of energy, also kind of getting your fats up there. All right, so, so that's me, man. That's how I eat. So. I started this video after I got a shower. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. So I haven't eaten anything all day. The only thing I have done is I took a coffee uh, before, a black coffee before. I used to get my coffee like Burger King or 7-Eleven or whatever. I had a black coffee this morning uh, before my training session. I trained around uh, 10 o'clock today. And then after that, I had a uh, green juice. So I have been doing these once a day. I'm not a, I don't really like eating a lot of vegetables, they're great for you, so this is the way I can get all my fruits and my vegetables in if you're interested in getting these things shipped to you, because they actually bring mine to me, I don't even go nowhere, and I'm supposed to pick up a shipment later today, so if you're interested in this, I'll put a link on how to get these, I'll put the instruction and details how to get this down below. Follow along today as we do my first ever full day of eating uh, video, enjoy. So I have a business meeting to go to and I am walking. <laughs> I'm not lying, I'm out here walking. Cause my car got hit. And this is what I say, anybody know me. I say, when you stay in the hood, man, when you stay amongst the ratchets, you gotta expect for ratchetness to occur from time to time. So basically what happened, man, and me, and me and the young boy Vic was getting ready to go to the gym. I walked outside and my window was shattered. My window was shattered. The mirror was broken. I had a huge dent. The paint was rubbed off the driver's side door. I'm like, are you kidding me? I really like stopped in the middle of the street and just stared for like five minutes. And then I just bust out laughing. I'm like, are you kidding me? A car. Somebody hit the car. Now, hit and run situation. Now you know it could that happens, I'm sure, all the time. But when does it happen and it's your next door neighbor? They have a white truck. It was white markings off all on my car. It was a dent in their bumper. They have a big 4x4, a Ford truck or something like that. I got a little old Tina, uh, Toyota, a Nissan, whatever the car is. So of course it smashed the entire door in, man. The door didn't work. The latches didn't work. Anyway, I had to get a whole, I had to get a whole new door and through some other stuff I don't even want to go into right now. I have, you know, I have no car now. These cats next door, man, ran into my baby. <laughs> didn't tell me. Didn't leave a note. They didn't even go get their car fixed. So I, it's obvious who did it. The only person with a white car in the vicinity with a big old dent in the back of their bumper the next day. And then when Vic came out house the next day, he said he seen them speeding off. I was like, really, man? So that's how we do it out here now. So yeah, I filed a police report, all that good stuff, but you know, they not really gonna do anything. And I even sent them pictures of the other car. So <laughs> crazy, stupid story. But that's what happens when you live in the when you live in the hood, man. When you live amongst the ratchets, ratchet stuff happens from time to time. I got a whole bunch of them stories actually. Cause it happens all the time. Oh yeah, baby. 
I got some deviled eggs, man, that is four eggs. So I got eight deviled eggs, some paprika thrown on the top of it, some pickles in the middle, and a little bit of, let me get on this side, and a little bit of lettuce. There you go. Deviled eggs, four whole eggs, and I made eight deviled eggs, some pickled chips, some pickled chips, and um, it's a paprika on the top, so pickles ain't really got no uh, no calories in or anything. Uh, a little bit of lettuce, I'll probably go ahead and eat that. Um, these deviled eggs has like three grams of protein per each actual half one. So that's like 24 grams of protein, like 48 grams of fat, something like that. So, like I said, a lot of um, calories and I need the fat for my for my eggs. And also, and also it's pretty cheap, so cheap too, cause like five bucks at Mojo. So, so far I spent five dollars, got my first meal of high quality. H2O, I got my, got my first one, so I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this and I get up with y'all later. I'm out eating my, eating my second meal, I got my, this upcoming week, my next week of juices delivered to me. That's the cool thing about this, about I'm so cold pressed, man, they bring them to me, I ain't gotta go get them, kinda saves me time. I'm sitting here programming, uh, doing e-coaching for uh, Mr. Knight, I'm about to send his program, so I ain't have to stop doing my program, man, still at work, working hard, getting y'all these programs, and I'm so cold pressed, just bought me some juice. Hey, I'm juiced up, baby. Hey, I'm juicing now. <laughs> I, feel, I ain't natty no more, cuz. I'm juicing. sure what I got here. All right, I'm sure what I got. So, I got uh, some grilled chicken from Farm Fresh. It was about four bucks. It was more a piece than that. I ate a couple. And then I'm going to actually get some rice, some yellow rice, and... Um, Turkey sausage, I kind of mix together. That's that's one of my secrets, man. One of the things I love doing is super cheap. I get um two things of rice. I usually like brown rice. Uh, the one that, wild rice. I usually get brown and wild rice. This time I got this time I got yellow rice, which was a big mistake. And garlic is disgusting. And plus, brown rice is a slow dig slow digestion carbs, so it's a little bit uh. A little bit better for you in that regard. And then I get some turkey sausage. Mix them together in a bowl and I usually chomp off, as you can see. I usually eat this throughout the, throughout the week. I usually get a cup of uh, each serving. Let me tell you about this chicken, man. Funny story about, about this chicken. So, about a, so now, I go on the farm first to get ready to get a chicken. I pick the chicken up. I don't even know how to take this comment. The lady said, hey, come in for a second. I say, what's up? She say, you know, let me know next time you want to come get this grilled chicken. Because they just let me be able to mark down the chicken that's three days old. They used to make me throw it away in the food bank. Don't want it. But I can mark it down again. What? First of all, <laughs> I don't know if I feel offended. I'm like, why are you telling me? To come buy this marked down chicken. That's that's the first problem. Like, you know, everything ain't racial, but because I'm black, is it because where I live at? Why do you feel like I want marked down chicken? And then second thing, if the food bank won't take the chicken, <laughs> why do I need to eat it? It's three day old chicken, and she talking about she gonna mark it down and send it to me, so I need to hit her up. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to throw this in the microwave. Real quick, and I'll let y'all see what that look like. Look at that. Oh, yeah, man. That's some good, clean protein. Yeah, like I say, two pieces of chicken, uh, rice, and some sausage in the rice. So, like I said, I'm really high on high protein. Also, I'm usually sipping on this all day long. I try to get a gallon in. I've been sucking at getting that gallon in lately. So, one of the things I do is I sometimes get some diet Dr. Pepper or some kind of diet drink to change up the flavor. Sometimes I put some some uh, Kool-Aid, not Kool-Aid, out of Kool-Aid packs. Um, zero calorie Kool-Aid, zero calorie Kool-Aid packs sometimes. I put those in it as well. Uh, different flavor. Jolly Ranch has been my favorite. Chris, uh, Chris Jones put one at Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher is a blessing. So, but 
I get tired of drinking water all day long, man. And I need to stop drinking that. <laughs> I need to stop drinking this. Yeah. <laughs> and so when I'm cutting, I, I stay away from, from that rock. I am definitely Ciroc, boy. I stay away from the Ciroc. Start drinking that gallon of water each day. And with my dinner, I'm going to have some um, Diet Dr. Pepper, zero calories, no protein, no carbs, no nothing. Just to change up the flavor. And if you're worrying about like uh, vegetables and stuff, I got one more meal left, so I'll probably throw some veggies in with that last meal. But man, I'm, I'm doing too much talking, man. I'm trying to get down to this food. <laughs> Gotta eat the grow, baby. So it's about 9.45, 10 o'clock. I, mean, I, don't, I don't really eat a lot, man. Doing the intermittent fasting kind of reduces my meal, but I do get a lot of uh, nutrients and vitamins and proteins and calories and everything like that and uh, I'm on my food. So the last one, man, I'm, getting, I'm going pack maybe a half pack of broccoli. That's why I get my veggies in. And I do drink my juices, so you know, I have those. So I definitely get my servings of fruits and veggies in. And I'm gonna finish it up with. I'm gonna finish it up with my farm fresh chicken, two, two drums of farm fresh chicken. I probably throw a little bit of. Uh, I probably throw a little bit. A little bit of cheese on that bad boy too. So like I said, man, I'm not really, these are steamable, so like I said, I'm not really a, a cook, so you just throw these in the microwave. My microwave dirty, don't judge me, I'll clean it later. Put that bad boy in the microwave. So, and this is one of my gems, too, one of my secrets I found. Uh, better butter, this is a butter flavor, 50% uh, less sodium. I only use a little bit of this, and it has no fat, no cholesterol, only 10 calories. Like, if you like, hi, this is what that bad boy look like. Oh yeah. This is just this is that finish. Let me get some good light here. That's that finished product. See them steam? Ooh, that's some good looking. She had burning burn my hair. That's some good looking mac and cheese, baby. That is some good looking. Oh yeah. Oh, remember guys, I'm not like on a cut or anything. This is just basically how I try to eat to maintain and most importantly, eat to get them gains. <laughs> but like always, baby. Don't be stingy with your games, man. Share my video. Like, comment, subscribe if you like videos. Like, this is my first one. First, eating with CJ. Eating with me. It's my first one. Doing it all day eating. So if you like it, drop a comment. Let me know. Hit the thumbs up button. And I will be seeing y'all probably next week, man. I'm trying to do a video a week. So this is the video for the week. Always check the description box because it's probably some stuff down there you need to know, cuz. There's some stuff down there for you, cuz. All right, man. It's your boy, CJ Washington Jr.